so in the Wish film, I feel like what's probably happening is probably similar to like an electoral college in the sense of like semi phenomenal really cost their power to be playing in the space, like the genie in Aladdin. And I think in the Wish film, something similar is happening in the sense of like what was happening with Flo Penn and his gloves, what was happening with uh, Gothel and uh, Rapunzel, um, what's happening with Eugene's hands being tied up. Maybe Eugene's hands being tied up is actually more like because you see that scene and you see it from like Rapunzel's perspective, which is like you see like that she is like distraught because like Gothel has like tied him up or whatever. And so like when you're watching the scene, I think that maybe that was why the dam had to fall in Frozen 2 because like the damsel movies like are kind of a distraction from what's actually happening. Like, I have to red herring. Like, they're, like, a distraction from what's actually happening in the films. And so, like, I wonder if that scene isn't really about um, Eugene being tied up um, and, like, Eugene stealing Rapunzel's crown. Like, it's not really about that. And I don't even think it's really about um, Rapunzel's reaction to it. I think it's act. but again, that's the red herring, and that's why the dam wasn't, like, strengthening our waters, is because, like, it, that wasn't the point. Like... I think the point was that, like, Eugene is Clopen. <laughs> and I think that that's what it is, and, like, Gothel having him tied up. It's just, like, the kingdom dance where, like, Rapunzel and Eugene are, re like, reading those books together, and he has this, like, atlas, this, like, world atlas in this book. Like, I think that actually the point is that he is Clopen, and she has him tied up because she is, like, stifling his writing. Like, I think that that's what it is. Like, he's that, even the story is about him telling a story to Rapunzel about this book that he doesn't say whether he wrote or not <laughs> and so like i think that that's probably what it is so it's like a he probably did write that book that he was talking to her about but he didn't want to tell her that just like there was a lot of other things that he was not telling her her about himself so like i wonder if that's what was happening is that like um what was what that scene is is actually his hands are tied up not because he stole rapunzel's crown but because he is a writer and she was tying his hands up so that he couldn't write and I think that's also kind of what it is, is, like, he probably, like, Eugene, I probably have, like, nearly cosmic power, like, semi-phenomenal, nearly cosmic power, but it's just writing power. The genie even has a book. Like, the genie in Aladdin has a book. So, like, I think that that's probably what it is. And, like, that's probably why Corona and Autolin are, like, the same thing. <laughs> um, or at least Corona is, is like, a dream. I can reach but not quite hold, and Eugene is obviously Elsa, like, Elsa is obviously Eugene, like, dead on the cross, so I think that that's probably what's happening, is that it's, like, she said grow yourself into something new, like, build that, like, like, it, like it's like a dream I can reach but not quite hold, I have a dream, like, on an island that I own, Tony rested in alone, the islands in Rotorua, like, the islands in the Encanto, like, the archipelagos, like, that's what this whole thing is, is that it's, like, she was he was called to Otto Holland to actually build the kingdom that he was trying to build when he was a teenager. I think that that's literally what it is. Um, and so like it's also really interesting because like the Red Herring movies, like I um I recall like watching this like uh video essay and like I think also just and it seems to be like a general consensus that um the film Titanic, a lot of people like um, really, like, criticized that film because it, uh, like, what, what a lot of people's main criticism of that film is that it, like, focused on this, like, uh, romance between Jack and Rose. Like, that was, like, the hugest part of, like, that's, like, the main criticism of the film Titanic. Um, that's, like, a widely, like, um, viewed, like, criticism of that film, is that, like, people were, like, a lot of people, like, died on this ship, and they are, like, hyper focusing on this like one relationship and i think that that's probably what it is is that like that's the kind of the point of the dam having to fall in um in frozen is that like these damsel movies were actually like like what was happening in hollywood in general and that's kind of what's going on with like jafar because like jafar is like forcing this like giant red cloud over like agrabah and it's bullshit and so like i think that that's what it is is that it's like I think that's literally the entire point of the film is that, like, that's the entire point of, like, the film Titanic and, like, the dam falling in uh, Agrabah is that, like, 
a lot of the females in like the Disney U audience and just like in like uh like little girls growing up like are grown up like they grow up thinking that like they are like that it's some that like marrying a girl or marrying a woman is something that men actually like desire or want to do whereas like then they get older they actually get married and they like have a reality check <laughs> and learn like jafar and learn or, or be in the beast or, or or little mermaid that like the men really just had to do that <clears throat> because it was the law and there was not much other reason for it than that and like i think that that's kind of what's happening like that's why like that's what like the kind of like the larger viewpoint of the film titanic is is that like that's kind of like that's why the ship is sinking because it, it, it hits this iceberg of cold logic of like this generation of people who are aware that like the movies aren't real and that it's really just a mirror and that like what it was at one point is not like what it is and so it's like it's like just i think that's kind of really what it is it's like this whole damsel situation and even disney like disney kind of like um disney kind of like like in like disney is like it's kind of just like a hijacked plane like 9-11 and the tower of terror like it's kind of just like that in that the sense of like they have this like really great animation software and like disney has like the best animation software that there is but their movies are fluff <laughs> and i think that's literally what it is it's like it's not real and so it's like they they can captivate people with it but like it's not like authentic and it's like you like people don't fall in love with it because they just get entranced by it like sleeping beauty that's all it is is a spell and like that's what the stone bird in agrabah or in sleeping beauty is and like eros is stone in agrabah because like somebody like sleeping beauty person like maleficent that's i think that's why my life has like i've never really actually experienced life is because like i got turned into a stone stone bird like the bird in maleficent when i was born and so like that must be what it is because in maleficent they give people like gifts like the fairies are bestowing gifts on uh aurora and then um maleficent bestows one on her that is like a malignant gift like a tumor <laughs> um and so like i think that's probably what happened to me too that's why eros in a whole new world is a stone baby because like that's probably an actual baby me like i think that's what it is is that it's like i am probably that baby like came out seven days after i was born the only baby you see in the film i mean because like jasmine like jasmine looks like a baby like she looks like me that looks like a photo it looks like my baby picture but she's a, an adult woman <laughs> um but there is actually a literal baby in in the whole new world that jasmine is con coincidentally like standing behind <laughs> And I think that that's kind of what's happening is that it's like, I am that fucking baby. Like, Agnar is also standing behind Matthias in the forest, in the Enchanted Forest. Probably the same scene. <laughs> um, and I think that that's what it is. Like, the Han statue, that might be an actual person. The people getting droomed in Kimondra are actual people. Like, I think that that's literally what it is. And, like, you know why all of that's happening? Because of this fucking damsel thing. <laughs> because of this thing that nobody fucking cares about. And you want to know why they're, like, having it, like, be, they want, like, Disney films to be, like, uh, capitalizing on, like, uh, animation? Because animation is kind of, it's, like, has the freest range of, like, things that a person can do and, like, things you can depict or whatever and just, like, really captivating and transcend things. But since, like, it's, like, a G, like, rated, like, um, company that is doing that, it's, like, a quote-unquote family company that's making these films they're censoring it like really hardcore even though it's bullshit because it's like you're they're trying to censor this stuff and they're tr but they're putting like a bunch of adult things like hidden in the film like the easter eggs and shit so it's not it's not like it's actually kid friendly they're only doing that because they want to censor it because they want to be like oh let's try to force this red republican like bullshit uh abu uh elephant like bullshit red shit on it and like that's literally what it is it's jafar that's what the wish film is is that like they're trying to force this fucking fake red shit on people because like they want people to think that women are attractive and they're not some people might think that women are attractive but if you don't like people who don't think that just don't think that and they're trying to force conversion therapy on people and they committed a fucking holocaust 
Like, that's literally what happened. Because your daughter is fucking ugly. <laughs> like, that's literally the only reason this is happening. That's what happened in Alcoholic. That's the reason that, like, people... That's the reason, like, I'm the answer you've been waiting for, Eros. I posted a fake photo, photo of myself of Eros. That is male. That's the point. It says Cupid's not a fucking woman. Like, that's literally the whole point. Eros is not a female god. Christianity is fake. <laughs> Christianity was, like, made by the Romans, and it's bullshit. <laughs> like, that's literally the whole point of this whole thing. The Earth is garbage because Christian people don't have an imagination that is worth anything. Like, that's why the Earth is garbage right now. Because they have, they, like, kidnapped all of these children, basically, because women were trying to be like, oh, you're forever indebted. <laughs> you're forever indebted because, like, you were born out of a vagina. Well, guess what? I came out of a penis before that. <laughs> I'm just like, shut up. You're retarded. Like, that's literally the point. The chicken or the egg. Who knows which one of us got here first, but you're an idiot. That's literally the point because it doesn't matter. And then people want to say, like, oh, like, People want to be like, oh, well, like, gay people want to, like, have children without, like, actually having sex with women. It's like, that's not fair to women or whatever. And it's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, literally, I don't even have any actual biological children. Like, you don't have, you don't own children just because you gave birth to one. Like, you're so narcissistic and retarded. You're the stupidest person that has ever walked this earth. That's why it's so difficult for, like, men to, like, have to, like, fucking, like, pretend like, like, women's fucking problems actually matter that much, because they fucking don't. It's like, you have a period, and it's like, yeah, I actually have a lot of sympathy for you and your period, but, like, that's really what it is, though. It's like, I, you can try to have people, like, empathize with women, but when it gets to the point where you're, like, literally physically assaulting men and kidnapping them, like, just try to make them, like, empathize with, like, women, that makes us not empathize with you, because you're a psychopath. Like, that's what's happening. Like, you're so retarded. Like, Republican women and men are so stupid. Like, Republicanism, like, came after the Democrats. Rapunzel and Democrats. Eugene Fitzherbert, Democrat. Rapunzel, Republicans. Like, nobody, the Democrats, like, Eugene are unconscious because we don't know who Rapunzel is because she's fake. <laughs> like, like, Rapunzel is either, like, Republican women or, like, Republican men dressed up like women or something. And it's like, but Eugene's unconscious. Like, the Democrats are unconscious. We don't know what the fuck you're talking about because it's retarded. Like, why are you dressed up like a woman? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's literally what's happening. Like, the Greeks and the Christians and the Romans, like, the Greeks are unconscious, and then the Christians are like, 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 um, Chris Pratt and Aurora on, like, the passenger ship because nobody knows what the fuck is going on because they're unconscious. <laughs> like, that's literally what it is. Like, why are you dressed up like a fucking woman? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that's what's happening. It's like, this is so stupid. But yeah, I think that that's literally what it is. Is that, like, um, like, the semi-phenomenal nearly cosmic power that's in the Wish film is, like, the writing in North America that's been, that people, that Christians and Romans have been trying to suppress. And, like, it's, like, they have, like, what's happening, I think, in the Wish film is, like, the people that are, like, being, like, like harass and like whose freedom of speech is like being trampled on like that's because of this red jafar bullshit that's happening in america is like they have like they're a semi-phenomenal nearly cosmic power that is like trapped in america like this very blue like um potent blue power that is like trapped in america and is very largely symbolized and eugene's hands being tied up in corona and like elsa's gloves and elsa being like depicted as a female and um like clopens having these black gloves on is because that's the point is because like this is literally only happening because of like retarded jealous like like illiterate people like that's literally what is happening that's literally what's happening is because of like these fucking stupid illiterate people are like causing this huge problem in society because you like don't know how to read a fucking science book like that's literally what's happening <laughs> and like all of the countries on the earth now are kind of like Beauty and the Beast, because, like, the Earth, like, America, like, intelligent people are literally, like, because, again, like, the Democrats, like, are people who, like, make decisions that are, like, intellectual decisions. And then, like, the entire Republican Party, like, the point, like, the Republican Party is built on, like, this, like, concept of, like, this, like, this, like, 
fake foundation of like religion and like family values that isn't even real and like it's super retarded because it's like it's literally like half of our country that's what the, that's probably what the titanic is because like half of the ship is sinking filled up with water and it's like weighing the entire other half of it down that's what the, i think that's what it is it's what's happening to america is that like the republican party is literally sinking the entire ship that's literally what's happening is that the the republican party is just a fucking like crevice that's in the ship that's sinking the entire ship like half of the ship is sinking and then the other the entire ship goes down because half of it is sinking because it's retarded because it's built on a foundation of retardism <laughs> also if you get really think about it like why would it retarded people like men like literally people who are literally retarded or have any kind of genetic or abnormality why would they even exist if like heterosexual people weren't having like stupid children would that even actually exist would anybody have a ge genetic abnormality if heterosexual people weren't having sex out of wedlock getting people pregnant and like doing stupid ass shit like francine and sam breaking into uh, tom and tammy's house and like poking holes in their condoms would that be happening no you are an illiterate idiot that's why this is happening. Ooh. Is that what Frozen is? Because, like, Elsa is, like, blue. And like me and uh, Alma, I was like, I asked her to marry me on Facebook as like a joke. <laughs> I wonder if that's what Frozen is. That like Elsa made a huge deal about that, and like didn't fucking matter. I wonder if that's what it was. I was like, you're so fucking retarded. <laughs> Facebook is what you are. Maybe that's also what not one of us is, because I was like, I mean, people have, like, I mean, I, what's the not Facebook ever was actually a real platform, because I honestly don't think that it was, which is probably why I didn't treat it as one, like, Slave and the Magic Mirror wasn't treated as it, so I'm like, I don't think Facebook were ever actually real, maybe people thought they were, but, like, like, the whole concept of, like, oh, I'm going to post my, like, status of, like, marriage or my personal status on the internet. But who cares? It's Facebook. <laughs> it's just a social media platform. Like, who gives a fuck what actually is on there? It's not a marriage certificate. <laughs> it's not a law. So it's like, who fucking cares? <laughs> That's what they were saying. It's like, see how it is. This is what I call life. And I'm like, who cares? <laughs> this isn't real. It's the internet. Like, that's what I'm talking about. You guys wasted so much time on the internet. <laughs> like, bitching about your daughter's fake life. Barely have any stuff on Facebook and stuff. Like, most people do just have fake friends and shit. So, like, this house is probably a big ass illusion or something that most people are into. <clears throat> and then my voice is really bad, so I have to clean it up a little bit. But this is really cool. Again, I think that's what I'm trying to talk about, is that a lot of people just act like that. And then they're actually like, mm -hmm. 
but interesting in mandrakes, the concept of mandrakes is in Harry Potter. So I wonder if that's what Mother Gothel is. Like she was trying to destroy the magic. Because maybe it was ten years when you realize that Harry Potter was also fake. Because like Harry Potter was probably going to be rebooted back to Agrabah. But they made Marvel to like distract them. Because again, like I think what was happening is like I know that Harry Potter is also fake, and so like that's why I was like, I don't care about this. But maybe that was intended to be like an enchantment or something that would lead you back to Agrabah or something. But like because of what happened with Gothel and Marjorie, all I was seeing is that, oh, okay, well I know that both of these things are fake and therefore irrelevant. But the Mandrake situation is also Marvel. Like the Mandrake situation is also in like Marvel no whatever. <laughs> like the Mandrake situation was also in uh Harry Potter, which means that it was probably designed for me to figure out that I was close from him, and that I was, like, from Agrabah or whatever, or, like, that Aladdin was my brother, but, but I was, like, oh, okay, well, both of these things are fake, so I don't care, <laughs> um, and then, like, what happened after high school is that, like, so, like, the end of Harry Potter probably had some clue to, like, Agrabah, but Marvel is the wrench that they threw in that. And so, like, I think that that's what was happening, but, like, again, since I don't care about money, like, I think that that's what was happening, is that it's, like, I was, like, well, I'm only watching this as a TV show, what does this have to do with our actual life? And so that's why it didn't work, <laughs> because, like, what they were doing was trying to suggest that because I was watching the Marvel movies, I was, like, choosing to be Marvel or something. It's, like, this has nothing to do with my actual life, just watching this because I'm bored, it's an entertainment thing. Like, <laughs> what does that have to do with life? <laughs> What does that have to do with my actual life that I watched a movie in my spare time? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I also just figured out another thing. So, like, you know how, like, in, like, um, in general, you know, like, people, like, uh, People, like, are, you know, intended to marry for, you know, like, money or whatever. Um, like, people tell people to marry for, you know, to, like, uh, because of, like, the family. That's what Isabel was saying. She's only marrying him for that count because of the family or whatever. Abuela is really what she meant. She just didn't want to say that. But, like, I think that's what it was. Is that, like, I think that's kind of what's been happening. That was kind of what was the point of Encanto was. And then also, like, what's happening in North America right now. And then probably subsequently the globe, but, like, and then also specifically my life as well, because, like, it's just, like, if you're doing, like, if you're actually, like, studying something, and you're actually, like, observing something from a scientific perspective, just, like, you know, like, recentering on neurology and, like, showing, like, neurological healing, um, like, how my atlases are showing neurological healing, like, I think that's kind of what's happening, is that it's, like, um, like, I think that, like, Elsa also said, like, is this the day I finally find out why? And, like, I think that was what I learned in Ox Fallen, is that it's, like, like, I, like, um, kind of, like, believed a lot of things about myself that weren't true, or, like, believed that I was kind of, like, um, like, I didn't, like, I had a lot of, like, very substantial relationships that I thought were just, like, falling through, but they weren't, like, I was getting, like, kidnapped, A, and then I was being, like, gaslit and, like, tricked into conversion therapy and, like, this stupid bullshit like psychiatric it was a trick like psychiatric was a trick psychiatry is a trick <laughs> i think that that's what she learned is that like it like like that it was like fraudulent <laughs> um but i think that that's what it was and so um the like i think that's kind of what's happening is that it's like the redstone torch and like he even said like the dam will weaken our lands like it, that meant a lot of things but it, one of the things that it meant is like they're they're trying to like pigeonhole me into living with these like three people that they know and i don't love or care about and like i think that that's what's happening is because it's like they were trying like that was what the conversion therapy attempt was and like me and dylan even like are gay like the Lindsay and logan thing like but that's what was happening is like all this gaslighty shit was happening and like that and like that's what was happening is that they like they were like trying to kind of like sequester me 
into the situation where it would like appear just like how Rapunzel was getting gaslit like whatever is happening to Elsa because like um I think that's what was happening it's like Gothel was trying to like do to Eugene what she was doing to Rapunzel and like I think that's what was happening in Arendelle it's like I also kind of think the enchanted forest is like Arendelle is the enchanted forest like the rock trolls like like the castle Arendelle is probably just a rock troll and so, like, I think that's what it is. Like, the whole Frozen, like, franchise is the Enchanted Forest, and the dam, like, is Arendelle, and, like, the actual dam, like, that 12-notch dam. Like, all of that is, like, a rock troll. Like, it's Enchanted Forest. Like, that whole place is the Enchanted Forest. That's why Anna says we're playing Enchanted Forest while they're in the Arendelle Castle. And I think that's what's happening, because Ag Agnar, Eugene, said that he visited an enchanted forest and then like got trapped there and like got knocked out and like i think that's what happened because like eugene goes to arendelle like eugene literally goes to arendelle and like we don't see what happens to him after that but like we go he literally goes to arendelle and then like this like mist happens and like he gets like people get trapped in the enchanted forest or whatever and who do we see in the enchanted forest Ryder and honey Marin. who does that sound and look exactly like Flanagan, Ryder, and Rapunzel. Like, so that's what I'm saying. It's like, this isn't that fucking complicated. But, like, I think that that's what's happening, and that's why, like, R like Honey Bear and Rapunzel, or Honey Bear and Ryder, or maybe that's even me and Dylan. I honestly don't know. Maybe Dylan is, like, is Rapunzel. I mean, maybe Dylan is Honey Bear. I don't really know, because me and Dylan were hanging out at the mall. Or, not at the mall. At Target. So, like, I don't know. Maybe me and Dylan are, are Honey Bear and Ryder. I don't really know. But, like, I think that's what it is, because Eugene says that he goes to the Enchanted Forest. Like, Eugene says he goes to the Enchanted Forest, and, like, he, and then the mist forced everybody out, and then he returns thinking of Arendelle. Because he got fucking trapped in there, because the Enchanted Forest and Arendelle are, like, the same thing. Or, like, that Arendelle is in the Enchanted Forest. And, like, I don't think Anna, like, knows that, because Elsa hadn't, like, learned how to communicate that yet. Um, but I think that that's what was happening, is that it's, like, and also, I think that that was what the dam was, because he said it wasn't strengthening our waters, because, like, the San Francisco, like, Atahalan, like, the, in the light, looks like San Francisco. Like, where she's going at the end, you can very clearly see that that's San, San Francisco. But you can't tell that with the, the mist closed or whatever. And, like, with the dam up, and the damsel can happen. That was the whole point, is because the damsel was, like, these fake um, Elsa and Anna characters, and then, like, Atahalan, and, like, was like actually San Francisco, but it doesn't. It looks like it's not, because that was what was happening. They were trying to make it look like women were doing these things that they weren't. <laughs> like that's literally the whole point. <laughs> it's fucking retarded. When the simple solution is your daughter's not fucking attractive. <laughs> but yeah, I think that that's what it is. And so, like, I think that that's kind of what was happening. Is that like the um, uh, like I think that that was kind of what was happening. Is that like the um. What was happening in, like, Arendelle is, like, Eugene um, is, like, in this, like, forest or whatever, and, like, the dam is, like, oh, yeah, like, what I was saying about, like, they are trying to, like, restrict, like, me, like, actually, like, interacting, like, people, they don't want people to have friends in general, but they try to call it, like, communism and socialism or whatever, because, like, if people just, like, can just, like, talk to each other and, like, people who, who just, like, have like, who just, like, authentically love things in their life, and who just, like, have genuine passions and, like, desires and can, like, actually, like, entertain themselves, like, they don't need an industry, they don't need anyone marketing them or selling them anything, and that's the whole point, is that it's, like, they put this dam, they put, they trapped me in here with, like, these three people that I don't care about or love, because they're trying to, like, um, have me, like, looking for that somewhere, like, when, so then they can try to, like, sell me shit. And so, like, and, like, I think that's what's happening. It's because, like, that's, like, what it is. And I think that's kind of what was happening with, like, these marriages and shit, too. Is that it's, like, well, the day I finally find out why is that it's, like, it's because of your garbage family. Like, that's why your relationships weren't working out. They don't want you to know that. But, like, that's literally what it is. You keep getting fucking kidnapped. It's not that people aren't actually attracted to you. They're trying to turn you to women. They're trying to gay convert you. And so they were trying to associate, like, all of your relationships with like heartbreak or with like with like um heartbreak or like negativity that wasn't actually happening it was being engineered by them 
just like anybody else who doesn't want to marry someone who has a like fucking illiterate like retarded ass family like that's literally what all it was and so like but they don't want you to know that the simple solution to that is just like not having a relationship with your family like that's literally what it is and you try to do that but they stalk you and they kidnap you every time you do that they've been making these fake guardianships and these like fake conservatorships just so that they could like tell this fake story that you were heterosexual that's literally all that's literally why all of this happened that's literally exactly why all of this happened, is that, like, the, your fucking stupid-ass, illiterate nigger family has been kidnapping you and, like, trying to trick people into, like, um, like, being in relationships with women by, like, trying to tell people that you, like, were a heterosexual and, like, all this fucking retarded-ass shit. It's, like, this level of jealousy is so fucking despicable. It's so retarded. And, like, all that it did was create, that's what the Strange World Turtle was. Because, like, it showed my, like, containment in the mountain. And it showed that, like, it's nature versus nurture. Like, people don't want to be in relationships that they actually genuinely, like, with genu people that they genuinely are attracted to because of their fucking stupid-ass illiterate nigger families. And no, you want to know why nobody wants to be in a relationship with your daughter? Because she's fucking ugly. That's why. And that's literally what it is. Like, that's literally what it is. And, like, so if you remove the dam, that's why they don't want to get it, get it out of the way. That's why they don't want to remove the dam. Because then what's going to happen is that whole ocean that's surrounding the strange world turtle is an ocean of people who, like, actually genuinely and authentically want to be together. And then, like, everybody who's in the strange world, fucking stupid strange world turtle, are the people who are, like, being forced into, like, fake bullshit relationships with fucking ugly-ass nigger women because of the law or because, like, of their fucking, like, stupid-ass nigger dads and all this fucking stupid-ass don't-ass don't-tell nigger bullshit. That's the only reason anybody fucking talks to your daughter is because of money and because of your fucking illiterate nigger dad who's gonna beat them up if they don't. That's what your life is, you fucking pathetic bitch.